Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my shop. Today is January 18th and this is my weekly shop update. <laughs> so I'm shooting this at my normal time. It's about 1 a.m. I did last week's shop update around 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning, which is right before I typically go to bed. So as some people pointed out last week, I was a little extra goofy. So hopefully this week I will be less on the goofy side. <laughs> But we'll see what happens. I can't promise anything. <laughs> so this shop update marks my almost two year anniversary of uploading videos onto YouTube here on this channel. Uh, almost two years ago, it was January 20th, 2014, I posted my first shop update. <laughs> and if you wanna see what um, talking to a camera and having that experience for two years is like, Go watch that one and let me know how you thought I did back then compared to how I am now because going back and watching those seems so weird. I don't know who that guy is. <laughs> it's, just, it's just so weird. The, the difference between the comfort level now in front of the camera and what it was back then. And back then, that was like, I think it's like a six minute shop update. I was building my workbench back then. And that was like a 25 minute take or to record that it took me 25 minutes because of all the times that I started and stopped and didn't know what to say and, and all that stuff. So it was, it's definitely been a huge learning experience for me, just being in front of the camera. And I'm certainly more comfortable just speaking in general, which is why I started doing the shop updates and the videos to begin with, which was just to work on my, I guess my charisma for lack of a better term. So let's get into the update for this week. And as always, Got some more viewer projects for you. Got tons of these. So let's get through this week's four projects. <laughs> this first one is a saw till from Brian. This thing is incredible. Um, I really don't have any words for this. The, the detail level on this saw till, as well as the other projects that he is working on as part of the set. There's a tool cabinet and a plain till and a workbench. Um, just incredible stuff. I'll have a link to Brian's YouTube channel or actually the video of making the saw till. Uh, check it out. It's just, it's so intricate and Brian just does some amazing work. He is incredibly, incredibly gifted. Take a look at his work. This next project is from Mike. This is an hourglass clock. And when I saw this thing, I'd, I had never seen this before, but it is so cool. So the hourglass is there to indicate the minutes on the clock essentially. And every hour, the mechanism turns the hourglass around and it sets the hour, uh, the hour number on the top, I believe is how it's read. But just as a clock and in general, it's a really cool design and I really like this one. So thank you for sharing that one with me, Mike. I'll have a link to the video about that clock in the description. Mike has a video about that on his YouTube channel. All right, this next project is a set of three tables by Joe. There is a dining table, a coffee table, and a end table. And the tables are made of Osage orange, walnut, um, bloodwood for the bow ties, and on the uh, end table, there is a spalted oak uh, pull. And out of the three pieces, I think the end table is my favorite just because of the, the top. <laughs> I love the tabletop on that thing. And the contrast is nice too, but that top with the, uh, with the crotch figure, love it. <laughs> Great work on these, Joe. So this last project is from Pete. This is, I'm not sure what it technically is. He didn't say what it was, but I'm gonna guess because of its size, it's either a jeweler box or some, or some kind of keepsake box, but it is a really cool little box. He said that the whole construction was all hand cut and this was his second time doing dovetails. The whole piece is made of yellow adigbo, which I had never heard before, but the cool thing about this is I'm learning about all kinds of different wo uh, woods from all over the world. Probably the coolest thing about this piece is the bottom drawer. And you might not see it at first until you see the picture of it open because the bottom drawer is actually part of the, the base or the, it will look, what it looks like to be the base of the piece. So. That was cool. Really like that hidden drawer idea. So how about me this week? What have I been up to? Well, I did manage to get the whole sofa table all glued up and it's ready for a drawer front or a whole drawer, I guess, more than just a drawer front. <laughs> the glue up went really smoothly. Um, 
with pieces like this, you have a couple of options with the glue up because there is a lot of complexity here. There's a lot of glue surface. There's a lot of pieces that have to go together with glue. Um, so you have a couple of options. You can either go ahead and um, glue it up in sections or you can use a slow setting glue and glue it up all at once, which is the way I prefer to do it because then I can make sure that everything is exactly how it's going to be perfectly and that's it. <laughs> um, I don't know. That's just the way I like to do it. And I use epoxy for that and the whole glue up took me pretty much exactly a half hour and the epoxy was still still running and good to go after that. So the nice thing about using that epoxy is it lasts or the open time is about 45 minutes, which is a long time to get something like this together. So that's the way I went about that. So with the table, I have been diligently working on editing the videos for that class. That's what I've been doing for the majority of my time this past week and probably for the next few weeks. So that's kind of where I'm dedicating my time because that is going to start in February. So all of those who've purchased that project, um, it's gonna happen. It's gonna start coming out soon. So I'm really looking forward to getting those videos released and getting that whole thing put together for everyone who has purchased that. Um, so that's what I've been doing and I will be doing for the next few weeks for sure. <laughs> Um, on Saturday this week, I took the log trailer out and picked up a log. We were going to pick up a few logs. Um, I was out there with my friend Adam, who I showed his work a couple weeks ago. It was the, uh, the Walnut and Steel Entertainment Center, or Media Center, I think is what he called it. Um, so we were down at his parents' house. They have a line of trees in their backyard, and he wanted me to come and pick up a few logs from that area. We tried to get down there through the yard, but couldn't do it because of all the snow on the ground. And I put together a little video on my Facebook page of the loading of that oak log. Nothing too big, but it was a lot of fun to be out there um, just getting out of the house and spending some time outside in the cold because it was a uh, high of zero degrees Fahrenheit that day. <laughs> Plenty cold. <laughs> all right, so if you didn't see, I think it was a week and a half ago, Matthew Morris and I released a new episode of the Matt and Matthew show. That was the finale or the second part of the Jeff Miller interview. And then this Thursday, look for another episode of the Matt and Matthew show. That's going to be with um, Milton Swan of Swan Tools. He makes some really nice um, hand tools. So look forward to that as well. And of course, if you didn't hear already, I have joined the Wood Talk podcast. So if you haven't taken a listen to that already, I have a link to that in the description as well. We just released another episode a few hours ago. <laughs> so I think that's about it for me this week. <laughs> Thank you as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments about anything I talked about today or anything here in my shop, please feel free to leave me a comment. As always, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, happy woodworking. <laughs>